Hi guys! As you can see, we are out at the coastline today because it's low tide and we are going to do some coastal foraging hoping to find these edible gastropods. I'll see you in the water! way towards the boys they're far away still and then I found check this one I was just walking along and then I saw this this is what you call a sea hare and now they're not really dangerous so you can just hold them they're kind of slimy and all that so yeah this is a sea hare there are a lot of them all over this coastline so we'll just put them back there you go and let's go out there now check out that lone mangrove at this area. Um, the species name of this mangrove is Soneracha alba and they are all over the island since this coastline right here is actually full of mangroves on the other side. We're planning to catch some mud crabs in this area but not right now because we are just coastal foraging and usually in mangrove trees you can find edible gastropods see this let me check this one this is a english name i believe is periwinkle this one's really small and we don't normally eat them this small so these are edible though but we're not eating this today since this is not our target species so we'll put them back See, those are periwinkles. Our target species for today is the gastropod spider conch. Now they usually just um, hide behind the seagrasses and the rocks and I'm just gonna... Oh, oh, here's one. Here's one. Here. Here, see? They're just literally just hide in rocks and seagrasses. There you go. I finally found one! I've been walking around the coastline for so long. This is a spider conch. Now, the local term for this one is saang. So in the southern part of the Philippines, if you say saang, they would know what you're talking about. Now, we usually grill them or we would eat them raw. They are delicious still. So if you haven't tried this, you definitely should. Let's go look out for some more. Oh, wait, 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 wait see they don't even look like they're alive but here is another species of gastropod the genus of this one i believe is trochos i'm not really sure what the english name of this i focus more on the scientific name so yeah this is a trochos gastropod now they're edible and they taste good not as good as the spider conch but yeah we'll take this one here's another one they don't really look obvious when they're in the water. See? Because they're covered with these. There you go. Here's another one. Um, just wanted to put it out there. The scientific name of spider conch is Lumbis Lumbis. If you're, you know, curious about that. Because it's easier to search for the scientific name if you want to know more about the organism rather than the English name. So yeah. This is a lumbis lumbis scientifically. And we are going to grill them. So I only have two and then I got a trochos um, gastropod as well. So we're now going back and I'm going to grill them in the fire that we started a while ago. Now the reason why I'm not trying to get many because I'm really advocating for sustainable fishing sustainable fisheries so we don't get much we only get what we eat you know what we need oh here check this out this is another species of sea cucumber i don't know if you can see but yeah that one over there but you might want to avoid those species because they're really itchy so yeah um 
about to head back now because it's actually about to rain. It was sunny a while ago, but now I think it's about to rain. So I'm going to head back now. I'm back at our encampment. So this is our haul for today. Um, two spider conks and then one trocos. So what we're going to do is we're just going to grill them over the open fire because we didn't really bring a lot of spices today. So for these guys, it's just grilling. So here it is. Oh, um, it's over there and then this one right over here. So once they boil, because we're just waiting for them to boil, because they do have seawater inside. So once you see that seawater boiling, it means it's already cooked. So we'll be eating that in just a few minutes. The crew are out here, Nico, and then my sister, and then this is our encampment part. That's Nico's brother, Kenneth. So we're just out here chilling and enjoying the view. These are now cooked. It's actually kind of hot still. Um, unfortunately, we didn't bring material, so even though the shells are really pretty, we have to break them using a rock in order for us to get the meat inside. So we'll find a um, hard rock. They actually smell really good. And then, what we're, ooh, they're actually really hot. Still. Over here. And then, unfortunately, we will have to break them. Check this out. And so we will break the other one. We'll break the other one as well. I know their shells are really pretty, but you know, I have to show it to you guys. Ooh. We still haven't break them yet, so let's put the other one inside. There you go. Here. So we'll try if we can get them now, we can get them. There. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a spider conch. And they are delicious. But of course, we have to get rid of these first. These ones, they're not edible. So we'll put them back so other organisms can eat them. Um, just throw them away at the water check these out and then the other one over here um, we'll try and eat them now so this tastes really sweet and really fresh and really good so if you're in the Philippines guys try this they're everywhere in the southern Philippines so my sister is filming this, so I'm gonna give her this one, the other one. Mmm. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, as you can see, this one, the one that they use for walking, this is actually called operculum, just this soft, soft shell. You don't shell. eat that. But you don't eat that, because that's, you know, not edible, of course. Mmm. So that's it for today's episode guys this is going to be the first of many vlogs about the ocean lifestyle since we are all islanders here um, we're trying to show to you how we you know live life on a daily basis here in our island so um, if you want to see more subscribe and then if you enjoyed watching this video please give it a thumbs up now here's a shot of tequila to end this vlog <laughs> Thank you. So cheers guys and see you on the next one.